Merhaba arkadaşlar, hepiniz IFT Talks webinarlarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün Baden Württemberg International ve The University of Education of Schwäbisch Gmünd ile Almanya'da eğitimi Hay ve Monika'dan dinliyor olacağız. Lütfen sorularınızı sağ alt köşede questions kısmından yönlendirmeyi unutmayın. Yes, hi, the stage is yours now. Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Hai Sun from Baden-Württemberg International. We are a state agency to support the scientific and economic cooperation between Baden-Württemberg and the world. And we also supply information for students from overseas, from foreign countries to study in Baden-Württemberg. This time today we have the third talk. In the first talk and the second talk, uh, I cooperated with two of our universities. The first time uh, was KIT, a research university, and the second time a university in Hyderabad of applied sciences to introduce you um, the details of their universities. And today, so I will ask Euro to introduce you the general information of the universities, of the study lives in Bad Wittenberg and uh, a college of mine, so Ms. Dr. Becker from the University of Education from the city of Schwäbisch Gmünd. Uh, that's uh, one of the, from my side, uh, is one of the most beautiful cities in baden württemberg To introduce you, uh, her university and the courses of her university to you. So now, uh, baden württemberg Baden Wittenberg is a name for most of the foreign students and the foreigners. It's not easy to pronounce it. Uh, that's not a problem if you study in Baden Wittenberg. So, Baden Wittenberg is in Germany, it's in the southwest of Germany. You see here, southwest uh, in Germany is Baden Wittenberg, is the heart of uh, Europe. And here is the home for about 11 million people. And among these 11 people, 11 um, million people, there are about 144, 84 different uh, nationalities. So in Baden Wittenberg, there are some um, fields are very important such as the mobility, engineering, industry, if you want to study uh, engineering in Baden-Württemberg and automotive, also very famous. You cannot, you may cannot uh, pronounce uh, the name of Baden-Württemberg, but the names of the companies in Baden-Württemberg are very famous, I think. I do believe that uh, you have heard uh, some of the or most of the names uh, in the screen, uh, Little Sport or SAP or Bosch or Hederbeck, Drucker and uh, the IBM uh, Europe uh, headquarter are also in Baden Wittenberg. So, Baden Wittenberg is, uh, has a very long history for science and uh, uh, research. Uh, so the first autos was invented in Baden-Württemberg and uh, Albert Einstein, that's the most famous uh, scientist in the world, is also from Baden-Württemberg. So if you ask why, why uh, there are so many universities in Germany and other countries, why I should study in Baden-Württemberg? So in Baden Wittenberg, we have many various universities for your choose. And uh, in fact, we have nine research universities. We have 21 University of Applied Sciences. So about these two universities, I have introduced you uh, in the last uh, two talks. And uh, we have 11 universities of music and arts. Among them, we have six universities of education. 
And today, Ms. Dr. Becker is from one of the six universities of education. So we have also a Baden Wittenberg State University uh, with size, nine size and three companies. This is also a kind of University of Applied Sciences, but it's uh, relationship to companies, to industry is not is uh, still closer uh, as the University of Applied Sciences. And in our universities, we can offer you more than 3,200 study programs. And among them, there are about 170 programs in English. So in English, that means 100% English. And among them, we have about 450 programs in a mixture form. That means that you can begin the study in English and after one or two years, uh, there are programs in German language for you. So if you study in Baden Württemberg, uh, you can choose that which university is uh, so-called better than the other. So uh, what uh, does stand for better or not better? In Germany, you know that there are totally 11 excellence universities. And among the 11, we have four universities of excellence. That's the University of Heidelberg, of Tübingen, of Konstanz, and of Karlsruhe. So how to choose a university? The first step is you should find out how you like to learn. If you like the theory and you can choose a research university to make the research, in the university and after that, if you uh, want to uh, a manager, a project manager, and you can choose the University of Plant Sciences. And if you uh, want to hands on money maker quickly and more money in a short time, that's the cooperative university of the state by the Britain Bank. And if you are creative and you like to play the music or you like to draw the University of Arts and the music are a choice for you. So if you want to be a teacher, so today you have the right place. Uh, we have the University of uh, Education and the sixth University of Education. So uh, in Germany, we see that that's uh, the pedagogische Hochschule and, uh, and in Germany, there are only six pedagogische Hochschule, and all of the six are in Baden Wittenberg. In none of the other states in Germany, they have a uh, education university like Baden Wittenberg. So, this is the four uh, most important and, uh, universities, and this is the university also important. Uh, very important in the education, which we will introduce you today. So the step two is to find out about the university's uh, requirements. So I cannot introduce you uh, the detail requirements, but uh, Ms. Becker will introduce you today. And to find out about the uh, administrative requirements, that means um, uh, when, when you should uh, uh, apply, so how to apply, and then you should find the programs for um, young academics in our state. That's also easy. So we have um, a tuition fee for foreign students that's 1,500 for each semester and the living expense in Baden Wittenberg. So the cities in Baden Wittenberg uh, are some expensive as the other cities. So you should prepare some 700 piece uh, with to 900 euro for each month. And uh, so if you want to get more information, so you can see that there are three 
uh, links on the bottom uh, and you can check if you can find some uh, scholarships there to support your study in Baden-Württemberg. And uh, in Baden-Württemberg, we have a Baden-Württemberg uh, stipendium, so scholarship. That means you can apply, especially for the students who have a master program or PhD program or postdoc program in Baden-Württemberg. So there are different uh, support uh, for each month in Baden-Württemberg, apply on which program you study here. And the last step, also the most important one is to enjoy in Baden-Württemberg. So uh, study is not only a study, but in Bad Wittenberg, you should study and meanwhile, you should enjoy the Bad Wittenberg, so the, the Bad Wittenberg um, cities and the food and the life here. So that's uh, from my side and uh, Dr. Becker will then introduce you the details of the University of Education in Schwäbisch Gmünd, please. Thank you very much. I'm going to share my screen, hoping it works. Um, yes, looks good. Um, just a feedback from my colleague Zeynep or hi, can you see my full screen uh, now? Not yet. Now yes, I see now that. We can okay. See. okay, now it has disappeared again, isn't it? Yes. It's no more there. I'm going, I'm going to try again. And please give me a sign. Yes, yes now we can see, see it. Monica. Wonderful, thank you. It's technology. It's really uh, how I wish I could be with you in Turkey right now, presenting this in a classroom or a meeting hall. But uh, that's well how the situation is. Um, I really had to smile when I introduced uh, Baden-Württemberg because you should know that within Germany, Baden-Württemberg has the reputation of being the area of the hardworking people, um, which is of course true. But I've been living in this area for more than 20 years now, and I fully agree with Hai that uh, it's a region with a very high quality of life. It's true, people are hard working here, but they are also enjoying, for example, the warm climate and the excellent food and also the, the interesting neighborhood around Baden-Württemberg. So um, I will give you a short introduction to the Pädagogische Hochschule Schwäbisch Gmünd. It's always a joke we make. Uh, that's the most difficult thing to do for an international student to get here, to be able to pronounce the word, uh, the name correctly. Uh, to make it a little bit easier, uh, our international title is University of Education Schwäbisch Gmünd. And uh, we are located about 60 kilometers east of Stuttgart by train, by car, uh, it's 45 minutes. And um, I agree with Hai that we are one of the most beautiful towns in southwestern Germany, uh, although we are a little bit unknown. And um, if you come to our place, I think it's a very good combination of uh, a small town with all the advantages, a relatively low cost for accommodation, for example. But if you want to enjoy big city life, it's just 45 minutes away and you are in the heart of, of Stuttgart. I will skip uh, the next two or three slides because my colleague has already 
shown you how diverse uh, the uh, university landscape of Baden-Württemberg is. And um, I'm representing the universities of education to understand uh, the idea why do there are only six universities of education and why are they only in Baden-Württemberg. About 50 years ago, uh, teacher education in Germany was integrated into universities. Only the federal state of Baden-Württemberg retained teacher education in specialized universities. And we think this has been a great opportunity to develop a special profile and to fully concentrate on educational sciences. Um, we are a specialized institution and we can really strengthen our profile in education, teaching, learning research. And you will see later on, we do not only do teacher training, but we also train students in other fields related to education. Uh, here you have an overview of the, the six universities of education and uh, the, a total of about 25,000 students are studying at uh, uh, our places. And uh, where I work, where I teach, where I'm the international coordinator, we have about 3,000 students who are enrolled in about 20 study programs. We have 50 full professors, about 100 academic staff, about 50 PhD students. And um, uh, we also offer, the, uh, apart from PhD programs, we also offer the program uh, of a Habilitation to understand to become a, a professor in uh, a university teacher in Germany. You need a kind of second PhD and uh, uh, we are also offering this possibility. Um, 3,000 students, very small size, which is offering very good conditions for students and for staff. And one of our features is that we uh, closely link the practical side of teaching uh, with theory, really from the very beginning. To give you an overview of our programs, um, the majority of our students are enrolled in primary education and in teacher training for lower and intermediate secondary education. To give you some background information, to work as a teacher in Germany, uh, you have to have a bachelor and a master in primary education or in secondary education. But as I already mentioned, we do not only do teacher education, we also have a bachelor program in early childhood education, a, a bachelor in health uh, promotion and prevention, a bachelor in nursing science and a bachelor in engineering education. We do this together with our neighboring University of Applied Sciences. And if we go to master level, uh, we are offering a larger range of subjects. Um, we offer primary and secondary education, but we are offering a program which is called uh, Intercultural Relations and Integration. I'm going to explain the different programs later on. We offer a program, an MA program, uh, German language, multilingualism and intercultural relations, which might be an interesting choice for you. We offer master programs in early childhood education, educational science, engineering education, uh, health promotion and prevention. Uh, and we offer two masters in the field of nursing. One is nursing science and nursing education. If you want to be the, the trainer, the teacher of future nurses, then this might be a good option for you. Um, very briefly, a teacher training in Germany. Uh, if you become a teacher in Germany, you choose two or three school topics. Uh, primary education, it's three school topics. And um, the uh, one has to be German, the other one has to be mathematics, and the third one can be whatever you want to study. And if you do secondary education, you are free to choose 
two subjects. I know that this is a big difference compared to Turkey, where uh, you only study one subject or you will become a classroom teacher. We have a different teacher education system. Um, we have to do a bachelor, afterwards a master, and then on top of that, a uh, one year and a half uh, training program before you're finally a fully qualified teacher. So teacher training in Germany is quite long. The other study programs might be more interesting for you and uh, they are also a bit shorter. Uh, we have uh, our bachelor in and master in early childhood education, uh, bachelor three year and a half, master one year and a half. And if you study early childhood education, you will be qualified for work in early childhood institutions, but also family centers and in, in counseling. And uh, the program is a very large program consisting of education, social ed uh, pedagogy, di uh, psychology, but also how to teach science at an early childhood level, how to teach arts and language at an early childhood level. So if you're interested in a very large study program, this might be interesting for you. Uh, and our MA prepares you uh, for work in the management of early childhood institutions or if we want to go uh, to research institutions. I can highly recommend our master program in intercultural relations, which consists of uh, courses in language, in literature, in sociology, and in education. And uh, there is a very strong focus on migration studies and on intercultural relations. It includes theoretical concepts as well as practical aspects. For example, conflict management, there is a course on human resources, you will get an introduction to journalism and so on. And it qualifies you for an employment in NGOs, in public administration, or if you want to work with refugees and with migrants in the future. A similar program is our program German language and multilingualism. Uh, if you choose this program, you study German language, uh, literature uh, and culture and uh, you have a look at language, Ger German language, uh, German um, as a foreign language, as a second language, in a globalized world and you have a closer look at what does multilingualism mean. It also includes placements and the possibility to spend one semester abroad and with that degree you can work uh, in, in adult education at an NGO, um, further education or for example in an international office, office that's what I do, or in, in culture organizations. Um, if you're more interested in, in health, um, we offer a program in, in health education and um, we offer a program, relatively new program in nursing science and that has a big benefit. The program includes two qualifications. If you study that bachelor program, you will have an academic bachelor degree and at the same time, you have the uh, practical permission, the license to work as a nurse. And um, if you want to go deeper into this topic, we also offer master programs in nursing science and nursing education. So now for the, the practical aspects. Um, our application deadline is like everywhere in Baden-Württemberg, I think July the 15th. And if you want to go into teacher training, we have a second intake on the 15th of January. And now uh, to difficult points, um, unfortunately, 
our programs are taught in German. But I know there are a lot of people living in Turkey with very good German skills. Um, the language requirements for our study program is German at a C1 level, which means you need TESTAF or DSR, Goethe or TECC1 Hochschule. And the second part is, well, um, as a non-EU citizen, you would have to pay tuition fees, I call it tuition and service fees, with a total of 1,650 euros per semester. But uh, that includes also, for example, a bus ticket here at the university. Um, coming from Turkey, um, what do we require? We require, and now I apologize for the pronunciation, uh, your lycée diplomacy and uh, the university entrance exam. And depending on the number of points in the entrance exam, uh, maybe one or two years at a Turkish university uh, will be necessary. But if you come with a very high uh, number of points, normally you have direct access to the uh, our bachelor programs. And for the master program, we require a, a bachelor. And we, of course, accept a bachelor from Turkey. And uh, I'm just checking. Yes, I think there's still enough time uh, to give you a little bit an idea of um, how uh, Schwäbisch Gmünd looks like. That's the the center of the town. I would rather call it a town and not a city. We have about 60,000 inhabitants. Uh, landscape, very friendly, very green. Um, old buildings, uh, really picture book Germany and um, yeah, some, as I already mentioned, the, the good aspect of Schwäbisch Gmünd is that you are very quickly really in the center of Stuttgart with a very vibrant cultural life, nightlife uh, and as already mentioned, famous companies such as Daimler or, or Porsche. And uh, yeah, some regional outdoor activities uh, if you want to re relax and enjoy life. And uh, that's what I wanted to share with you. You see my contact information. And um, now I'm trying to stop the screen share and hope to be back. Yes, uh, I see a lot of questions in the uh, in the chat um and uh, i have answered some of the questions if i can oh you're wonderful uh, thank you thank questions? you so you should uh, to answer it in detail yeah let me just open it uh Zainab recommended to start with the uh, start on top um uh, the psychology student, uh, Atakan, thank you for your question. Um, you mean uh, license education um, to uh, become a teacher in Germany? Um, you have to hand in the documents I just mentioned and, um, uh, but, uh, and then you would have to decide if you become a primary school teacher or a, um, a secondary school teacher. Um, then, then you choose your subjects and um, if you manage to get a place uh, in psychology in Turkey, then you will also get a place uh, in teacher education here in Germany. And how can I get a scholarship? Uh, my colleague Hai has uh, uh, Put some links in the um, in his presentation about DRAD or uh, Baden-Württemberg scholarship. Um, there are some uh, opportunities to apply for it. Yeah. Mm, yes, the uh, Ilkay is asking a very interesting. Oh, I should have mentioned this. Uh, while you're studying, can our child in primary school go to a public school? Yes, of course. Um, once you are living in Germany, um, your child will be able to to go to kindergarten to um, 
to, uh, to local schools. And if you have very little children, we on campus, we have, a, um, I think in Turkish, it's also called Kresh for the, the very little ones. And uh, that's for our students. Uh, and um, it's for a very, very low fee. Uh, we uh, have received the label some years ago that we are an especially family friendly university. Um, Yeah, um, Kalibe is asking um, the mechanical engineering last year of bachelor. Um, being a foreigner here in Turkey, um, it doesn't matter if you have the Turkish nationality or if you have another nationality. What counts for us is um, uh, the, the certificates you have. Uh, do they make you eligible? For uh, for applying and uh, in the uh, when you mentioned mechanical engineering, what I can imagine or could imagine is that you study uh, in our uh, bachelor program um, engineering education. If you want to work in that field, uh, that's a program we share with our neighboring University of Applied Sciences in Arlen, and uh, we put in the education part and our colleagues in Arlen, which is about 20 kilometers away, uh, they are teaching mechanical engineering. And after two years, you have the license to work as a teacher in a vocational school. I think that's an, a quite interesting approach. Um, you should, um, well, we offer uh, German language courses at a very high level here, but um, to acquire the basic German skills to, to apply, you would have to go to Goethe Institute or, uh, to, uh, or you would have to apply your German skills at another place. We don't offer, unfortunately, preparatory classes in, in German. Hmm. What else? Um, Yeah, the tuition fee, um, whatever you study, bachelor or master, the tuition fee is the same, uh, 1,500 euros per semester. And on top, you have to calculate, we call this a service fee, uh, 150 euros, which everyone has to pay, also the German students. And um, that, but that includes a bus ticket and some insurances. Uh, so, um, but the tuition fees uh, are, 1,500 euros for every um, state university in Baden-Württemberg. Um, um, Aisha is asking a very interesting question. Is there a nutrition and dietetics program, graduate program? Um, not exclusively. Uh, nutrition can either be part of teacher education so you could study to become a teacher and one of your subjects is nutrition or you could study health promotion, public health, where uh, nutrition plays a big part together with sports uh, and together with education. Uh, but uh, there is no program at our university where you can study nutrition only. Um, mm, uh, the summer schools to prepare uh, for study abroad uh, to improve, um, we don't offer them, but if you go to the DAAD website, um, you find a big range of universities uh, in Baden-Württemberg uh, offering such a program. You mainly find them at the, at the big universities. Could you please send me the, yeah, the, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, about the medicine program, we don't have medicine. Uh, medicine is taught only at the, the big research universities. Uh, what we offer is nursing, um, nursing education. Um, 
What else? Uh, is there a dorm? Yes, uh, we have uh, several dorms. And if you apply as soon as you get the letter of acceptance from the university, you uh, are almost 100% sure to get a place. That's one of the big advantages of studying in a small city might be difficult in places like Freiburg or Heidelberg, where there are lots of students and a lot of universities. Um, in Schwäbisch Gmünd, it's much easier to find also affordable accommodation. For example, Hai mentioned at the beginning that you have to calculate between 700 and 900 euros per month uh, for your living expenses. Um, I would say we are rather closer to the 700 uh, because accommodation is a little bit cheaper. However, to uh, apply for your visa, you have to approve, uh, you have to prove that um, you have at least 835 euros per month on your bank account uh, to be uh, to be acceptable for a visa. Uh, about the scholarships, uh, there are. Um, I'm just reading two questions at the same time. Um, there are, I, I suppose you will receive the, the presentation afterwards. And in Hai's presentation, there are some links about uh, possible um, scholarships. Um, do you need an additional CV if you have Abitur? Uh, what are the necessary documents of the application? Um, you basically need your Lisa diplomacy. You need uh, the um, the certificate or the proof of your university entrance exam. And uh, if you have already started a bachelor program, uh, please uh, send us also uh, the transcript of the, the studies you've already done. And we need a proof of your German. Uh, of your level of German. Um, there is, or for uh, a CV is necessary if you want to enter a master program because uh, they are not only looking at your formal qualifications but also at your motivation. And therefore, for the master programs, you also have to hand in a letter of motivation why you want to study nursing education, for example, or why you want to study intercultural relations. Um, but it's a, it's a very good question. Thank you. Working permit. Uh, You've already answered it. Thank you. Hi, that's exactly so. It is possible to have a part time work. Um, and most of our study programs are very flexible, uh, which means that uh, you, uh, well, you cannot fully work because of your, you, have, you will have a student visa, but um, the programs are flexible so you can find, um, um, you can work at the same time. Yes, we have language education. Um, uh, we train teachers who will teach English later on. But uh, please remember, not only uh, English is possible. Uh, if you study f teacher training, you also always have to combine it with at least one additional topic. Civil engineering uh, would be very interesting to have it an important field, but unfortunately not at the University of Education. Please check um, universities of applied sciences. I know, for example, Hochschule Biberach. Uh, they have a civil engine, a very good um, civil um, education program. Um, global law. Um, I think you would have to refer to Heidelberg University or Tübingen University or Mannheim, if I remember well. So just go to the, the websites of the different universities uh, and you will find something which corresponds to your special. Yeah, one question. Um, uh, about German, um, our we have some courses in English, but if you want to have an entire degree, uh, 
uh, you really need very good German skills uh, because the majority of our courses is taught in German and uh, uh, therefore um, we uh, uh, very good German skills are really an important requirement. Um, Kalibe wants to know um, if you can share the link and the address. Uh, Zeynep, um, will the participants receive the slides afterwards or how will uh, that be organized? We can the participants' email. So if you want, you can share your presentation with them. Yeah, okay. That's, yes, we could. If that's okay, yes, we can do it. Thank you. Um, ah, Aisha is an expert already. If we get enough score in the language exam after the application acceptance date, yes, um, the um, to apply, you need at least level B2 and you can hand in your C1 certificate um, later on um, and only to be able to be enrolled as a full-time students with all the rights, for example, to take exams and so on, then we need your C1 exam. But to apply B2 is enough. There is a question in Turkish by uh, Tulay. Unfortunately, I can I, I can the Abitur diplomacy, um, but I I'm can't. I'm trying to translate it yes. for you. Just wait a second. It's about the uh, uh, university entrance exam, I suppose. So he's asking if uh, the applicant has a Istanbul uh, Boys High School or German. Uh, high school uh, they can apply with abitur yes yeah if you uh, have a uh, have finished um, um, upper secondary school at uh, the the german uh, lycée in istanbul for example uh, then you have the um, that's basically your entrance ticket to the uh, the university here but is the uh, turkish uh, high school, not high school, university entries exam result, is it uh, compulsory? Um, if you have uh, your abitur at the, for example, at the, the German lycée in, um, in Istanbul, uh, then it's not necessary anymore, no. Yes, thank you for your answers also. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't quite catch I'm really, the, I'm really the uh, Ilkan's questions. He was asking if the their children can get a public primary school if they are studying. Yes, that. Yes, that's um, in the, um, but it depends on where um, they live and uh, their children just go to the next school close to where they live. And uh, that's also the case for kindergarten. Uh, kindergarten is from age three to six. And um, every child in Germany has the right to have a place at kindergarten. A kindergarten, there are some fees. There, it's not terribly high, but there are some fees. And um, if she's studying at our university and needs a place for the very little children from zero to three, um, we have a, a crash, an institution on a Kinderkrippe, we say in German, on campus uh, where she can get a place for her child. And it's really on campus. Yes, thank you. I think you covered all of the questions. I'm really impressed by the uh, the large range of, of questions you are asking. Um, there is one question by Pina about um, 
industrial uh, about if um yeah the um if you can enter study programs with an ib diploma for industrial engineering um as we don't have industrial engineering as a as a program um that will unfortunately not help you to uh, to apply here Is there a specific deadline for PhD and postdoc programs? Uh, no, there is not. Um, we, our, our um, PhD programs depend very much upon the supervisors. So the, the basic idea uh, doing a PhD in Germany is to, to find a supervisor who is ready to, um, to take care of you to and to uh, to defend your uh, your phd work and um, there are some uh, application procedures but there are no um, deadlines in this uh, the same way we have for bachelor or for master programs so the uh, main tasks a task if you want to do a phd is to find a supervisor who would take care of your PhD. And uh, once he or she has accepted, you uh, will apply for being a PhD student and then you are into the program. The deadline for master program, Aisha, is um, for most master programs is the 15th of July. Um, in the, the, well, the master program in um, early childhood education, it's also the, the 15th of January. But just check our website and uh, you will you'll see it there. Just checking. Are there more questions coming in? Um, do you offer, uh, Zeynep is asking, do you offer Erasmus traineeships for the health sciences? Um, as I explained, we are a very small university. Uh, we sometimes host Erasmus uh, trainees, for example, in the international office. We've just had an uh, Erasmus intern in our study program, uh, German language and literature. Uh, but in, uh, in our health uh, science department, um, uh, unfortunately, this is not possible. I'm just going through the yeah master dietetics summer schools. Also, could you please share your email addresses on the chat box, Monica and I? If they uh, participants yes. have any other additional questions, they can directly contact. Yes. You. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> So we have another question from Tulai and she's asking, do, what kind of scholarships do you have? Um, in Hai's presentation, you, uh, there have been some links. Uh, for example, uh, the DAAD, the German Academic Exchange Service, uh, they are, uh, you can apply for, for scholarships there. Uh, you have the Baden-Württemberg scholarships, but that's only for master programs. 
and um, hi, you have also included two other links in your yes. um, in your All slides. Right. The links again in the chat, so everyone can see that again now in the chat. Yes, thank you very much for the answers. Okay, and uh, Tla is asking, uh, is there any uh, problem with the dormitories? I think she meant like uh, all, does, do the, all students can get dorms um yes as i um um I, I showed you that we are a quite small city and our university is not very big which means there are enough places in the dorms available and the the procedure is normally once you receive the acceptance letter from the university you can apply we have one public dormitory uh, which Nevertheless, that there are single rooms, so it's not you don't share a two or a, a room two or four of you, and we also have some private dorms where you really have your own apartment with a kitchen and your own private bathroom. They are a bit more expensive, but at our uh, let's say uh, normal dorms, what I would recommend uh, to you because this is where you will meet other students. Uh, you pay about um, I think two hundred and. 80 euros per month, uh, which is really affordable. Yes, thank you very much for your answer. So it looks like we covered all of the questions. Uh, Wonderful. I'm impressed how many questions you had. <laughs> yeah, so uh, do you have anything to add before we wrap up? Oh, thank you for spending your time with us. And hopefully we gave you some inspiration and Maybe, hopefully, we we'll see some of you in Baden-Württemberg. Yes, welcome to Baden-Württemberg. Yes, thank you very much for the great presentation. It was really informative for the attendees and you covered all of the questions. Thank you for your answers too. Additionally, I would like to add uh, thanks to participants in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. Ee, üniversite ve Almanya'daki bursla ilgili diğer sorularınız için chat kısmında paylaşılmış olan mail adreslerinden Hay ve Monika'ya ulaşabilirsiniz. Umarım sizin için de faydalı bir webinar olmuştur. Aynı zamanda size haftaki webinarımıza da davet etmek isteriz. Thank you very much again you guys. It was a pleasure to have you in IFT Talks. Thank you very much. Teşekkürler and, and bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. bye.